A new lawsuit accuses Match Group's portfolio of dating apps, which includes Tinder, Hinge, and The League, of having psychological, manipulative product features that lead to addiction. Liken it to a video game. So you play a video game the first time, and you enjoy it. And by enjoying it, what that means is your brain has released some dopamine, which then makes you feel good. You have to play more and longer and longer and longer to get the same squirt of dopamine. That's really an addiction. The lawsuit alleges that Match has gamified romance to manipulate dopamine response, transforming users into gamblers locked in a search for psychological rewards that Match makes elusive on purpose. The suit also takes aim at Hinge's marketing slogan that the app was designed to be deleted, saying that instead it should be designed to be addictive. We talked to this university student named Joe, who after several years of using Hinge, has gone on several dates, but never found true love. It's kind of disingenuous saying that, you know, they are in it to help you find someone. I think they're definitely in it for, they definitely try and push those like financial, you know, microtransactions on you. The thing that would make it addictive for most people is just pushing the idea that like, if you're not there, like, you know, sending out likes, trying to meet people, that you're going to miss out on something. Michelle Leno is a psychologist and host of the TV show Minds Matters. In an age of social media addiction, Leno emphasizes personal responsibility. It's like you, you go to the movies and they put popcorn on the screen, then all of a sudden you think you want popcorn. You know, is the theater responsible because, you, you know, multiple people are jumping up going to get large, you know, buckets of popcorn? No, because they're doing their jobs. Whenever we do our jobs, we're doing it to make money. And no matter what we're doing or what matter what business you consider, there's always some psychology behind it to keep you engaged. But Leno believes the case could be important in helping to shed light on how businesses utilize addiction to sell. Addiction happens a lot of times on a subconscious level, and you know that doing this makes you feel a certain way, but you don't realize necessarily that you're becoming addicted until that addiction is already there. It's an interesting first foray into this world of trying to overlap legalities with behavioral science. If nothing else, this is going to stimulate other people to recognize that sites have something different in mind than they have in their intent. As for Joe, he was planning to take a break from dating apps, but couldn't resist looking at another push text from a potential date via Hinge. I'm starting to come to the realization that I should probably stop looking. Mark New, CGTN, San Francisco.